Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide. Today we have a beer from the Conway Brewery and it's a bottle of the Rampart Bitter coming out of 4.5% ABV. It's a bottle conditioned ale. There you go. Let's get into a glass, see what we get. Plain black cap on this one. Whoa. Wow. Loads of smoke down that one. This beer was kindly sent to me from bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. Make sure to check them out. Lovely big head on the beer. Loads of rushing carbonation up the middle of the glass. It's a well conditioned beer. The yeast really has done its job there in that second fermentation process in the bottle. Look at that. Beer is a dark copper colour. Really dark copper, but it's a nice clean glass of beer. It's not misty at all, it's not cloudy. It's probably a big four finger head, loads of slightly off white bubbles there on the top of the glass. Let's see if we can get some more in. And let's get a nose. Big yeast prominence on this one again. Big yeasty beer, kind of deep dark fruits. Almost a little belgium -y. Smells good, smells nice and hoppy too, in a traditional British way. Slightly spicy, I'm gonna dig into this one. Cheers everyone. Oh, very yeasty, very yeasty, very dry, very spicy. Very vinous as well. Very vinous beer. It's sharp, it's very bitter. And spicy. But look at that head. Really well conditioned beer, this one. As I said. Let's keep going. Cops then. The spicy marmalade, dry, like a really kind of sharp gooseberry. Pardon me. It reminds me of something. It reminds me of a few beers and. Oh, that taste there just paused me for a second because I picked up a really nice malty bready taste in that one. In that particular taste. That's the thing, that's why I love reviewing beer is because from taste to taste you pick up different things in the beer. There's so many different things going on with real ale. I love it. Loads of carbonation, fizzing on the tongue, bouncing around there, pushing all the flavours around the inside of the mouth. Not getting any of that 4.5% ABV alcohol, quite rightly so. Be a bit worried if this was an alcoholic kind of beer at 4.5% if you were picking up the alcohol. Now as we're pouring the beer we're starting to pick up a little bit of cloudiness and that's probably as far as you're going to get. There's a little, probably 10 mil left in the bottom. So now we're picking up this kind of yeasty, this bits of yeast floating around inside the glass there. I'm going to let that settle down a moment and give it a bit of a read on the back of the bottle. Rampart Ale, a real 
a really tasty premium bitter brew with a blend of UK Goldings and Fogel's hops. Thoughts over that stirring Goldings gives you that spicy edge. The enticing floral aromas are followed by smooth, spicy, citrusy flavours of the Goldens. Dark malts give a dark amber hue to this fine ale and create a lasting, memorable finish. And they're giving you the idea that I want to pour the beer. Uh, brewed and bottled in Conway, North Wales, using water from the mountains of Snowdonia and only the finest natural ingredients. Our range of bottle conditions ale are pro produced by traditional methods only. Okay. Quality ales from the coast of North Wales. And their website is www.conwaybrewery.co.uk Do you know, at this stage I'm going to have a final taste. Tell you that I'd be perfectly happy drinking that in the pub if I found it. Not a bad drop at all. Now I just, before I go, I want to show you if you're watching, if you're wondering what I'm talking about with bottle conditioned beer, if you're a newcomer, I just want to show you exactly what I mean if I can get, if there's bits and pieces floating around. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that in the glass, but there's little bits and pieces floating around. It's yeast, it's live yeast, they put it in the beer, they don't force carbonate the beer like some of the big companies do. It's a, it's a traditional way, a traditional method of producing carbonation in the beer. The yeast gives you that second fermentation process in the bottle. Okay, what do I give Conway Brewery's Rampart Ale? Love the yeast prominence. Love that yeasty, big yeasty flavour in there. It's really had time to ferment in the bottle. There's a couple of months left on the sell by date, but aside from that, it might have lost a little bit of its hot presence, but it's still a nice fruity beer, it's nice and spicy. Going into a pub, drinking this, as I said, I'd be happy, so I'm going to give Conway Brewery's Rampart a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to my daily beer reviews. Pardon me, I tried to get away with the end without burping, but I failed. Um, subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.